Hi, I'm Lisa with Parish Social Media. And today I just want to ask what's holding you back from posting on Facebook? What's holding your parish back, your ministries? Um, or maybe it Maybe it's you that you need help with what to post and how to share your life as a Catholic, as a Christian on Facebook. Well, the biggest thing that people tell me when I ask them that question is they don't know what to post. What in the world do people want to hear from their parish or from their ministry? Facebook and social media is, is a lot more personable. And so what they're actually looking for is for your parish to have community, to have a to have a, a tone, a personality. That's something that's so beautiful about the Catholic Church, right? We have one faith, but at the same time, every individual parish is a little different based on the community of people in the church. Because remember, we the people make up the church, right? So every parish has a little bit different of a personality, a tone, things like that. So they, they wanna see that reflected. They wanna be part of the community. So personality, they want personal connection. They also want to be evangelized and inspired. I know that kind of surprises me too, that people may not use the word evangelize, but that's what they're saying. They wanna be catechized. They wanna learn. They wanna grow closer in faith through the use of Facebook, right? So how do we do that? Well, the old standby or go-tos would first be, you could share scripture, you can share prayer, you can ask questions, reflections, things like that. But you can also share stories, testimonies, videos. There's so many things that you can do in that vein that makes that connection. And then that one relates back to the first one because it's still all about that personal um, testimony and connection and community that you're building with each other. And then the last thing that they actually do want on Facebook, your parishioners, is to be notified of church events, what's going on, um, who the people are, where can we go, what do we do, you know, what time is mass, when is that holy day, things like that. They do want to hear those things. But the trick is to not do those constantly that you have to kind of intersperse them with the um, the other items that we've mentioned. Okay, so now you're going, okay, that's a lot of different things. Awesome, but how do I do it and what do I do? Well, that's a lot for one Facebook Live. So we'll start small. And the, the first thing to do is if your parish or you or your ministry has a Facebook page, just start. Just get it posted, right? Find something, find an inspiration. Whatever inspires you and connects with you will also connect with them, right? So go ahead and find those and start posting them. Okay, I know now you're going, that's a lot. Where do I find these things? How do I create all these cool um, scripture images and things like that that are out there? Well, I have something to offer you. So, I um, took the time and I created 10 different images to get you started. Some of them are scripture, some of them are saint quotes, some of them are just reflections, um, and a couple of prayers. And so I grouped those together. And for right now, if you subscribe to my email list and I put the link in there, then it'll automatically email those back to you. And you can download them and you can use them free. Um, no, you don't have to tag or anything like that. I would love it, of course, but you don't have to. Um, but I, what I really want is them to, in these images, to inspire you and your community to go and share, right? To just get you started. There's 10 of them. So the idea, if you're not doing any, if your parish or you or whomever is not doing anything right now, just do one, maybe one a week, maybe two a week. But the idea is to start small, something you can manage right? Something that you can stay up on top of because once you start, people will want to hear from you, right? So there's 10, you can post them. And now you're saying, but wait a minute, my, my parish does not, like they are not on board with this Facebook thing. They do not understand why we need to evangelize on um, what Pope Benedict called the digital continent, right? Why are we doing this? Ooh, yeah. So, and maybe they don't have a Facebook page at all, like nothing. So to answer that or to help, I'm actually creating a digital course, an online course 
um, for you, your parish staff, your pastor, whomever to take and it will walk you through step by step. And it starts with why. It starts with the big why. Why do we have to evangelize? Well, the obvious answer, the quick answer is that we are called to make disciples of all nations. And we go where the people are and the people are online, right? We're online, people are online in our culture. And so we cannot turn a blind eye to um, that gathering of people. Um, so we start there and then it builds how, I mean, exactly where to click, how to set up your Facebook page, um, who to make an administrator, what to post, how to post, when to post, um, how to deal with messages, and even what to do if somebody sends you a negative comment or feedback. I cover all of those things. And that's coming soon. So if you, these 10 images are, you're like, yeah, but I have nowhere to post them yet, use them personally and get started and just try it out, right? And then when the course comes online, you'll get that email and you can either take it yourself or share it with your parish and see if you um, can't get something jump started. Because from what the research that I've done, less than a third of all Catholic parishes in the U.S. are using Facebook and using Facebook to inspire, evangelize and uh, build community. So. I invite you to go ahead and subscribe, share this with a friend, um, whoever needs to see it, uh, post those p images. And I would love it if you would tag Parish Social Media on Instagram or Facebook, wherever, just so that I can see what you're doing. I will come over, I will like it, I will comment, I will do all those things because we really, it is about building up a community of, of Christians on Facebook and social media in order to evangelize. So thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to hear from you. If you have any other questions or I, I didn't answer what your big reason is that's holding you or your parish back, leave it in the comments. I would love to answer. I would love to hear it and then see if I have an answer for you because um, that's, that's part of this is building our own community and how do we support each other. So thank you very much.